this uh, video I'm going to be specifically making it for my M104 classes at IUK. We're going to take a look at the degree of a polynomial that is written in two variables. This would be one of the topics that you're going to find in section 5-1. Alright, in this example I have a polynomial. Right here is my example that I'm going to be working with. It is in two variables because you see I've got x and y in both of these. Alright, now for starters, what you need to remember or learn or know about degree is the degree of each term is the sum of the exponents. Alright, so each term is going to have a degree. Alright, the overall degree of the entire polynomial is going to be the highest degree that's in there. Okay, so let's take a look at doing each individual term first. Alright, so right here for that first term, terms, remember, are separated by plus or minus signs. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got five terms in this polynomial. Alright, so I take those exponents, I add them up, 2 and 3 is 5, so my degree of this first term is 5. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing right here, add them up, 4 and 2 is 6, so the degree of this term is 6. Alright, I'm going to add these up, don't forget there's some imaginary ones in there, so this one has a degree of 2. Alright, this term also has a degree of 2. All right, now this one right here is a constant, all right, but technically I have an x to the 0 power and a y to the 0 power because anything raised to the 0 power is always 1. All right, so then adding up those exponents, this is going to show that this constant has a degree of 0. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each one of those individual term degrees and I'm going to find the highest one. All right, this one is the highest one. All right, now that term technically, you got to remember, since there's a negative sign in front of it, that coefficient is really negative 17. So I'm going to focus on this term right here to answer all of these questions. Okay, so it says the degree of the polynomial. I pick the highest degree, all right, which is 6. All right, now because that is the highest degree term, then that means that that term is the leading term, and I've got to remember to include the negative in front of that. So negative 17, x to the fourth, y squared is the leading term, okay? The leading coefficient is always the number in front of the, the coefficient, number in front of that term, so the leading coefficient is negative 17. All right, now this is going to, um, if you were to go far enough into this, you're going to need to be able to find the degree of polynomials if you were going to do some curve sketching, sketch your polynomials, kind of have an idea of what they look like. All right, but this chapter 5 just really gives you a nice little introduction to polynomials, the degree of them, what they look like when they're graphed, what they look like um, in terms of an algebraic form, a little bit of manipulation that way, and then sketching some basic polynomial curves. So, uh, just a nice little introduction here, looking at a degree of a polynomial that is written in two variables. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.